we're gonna talk about how to make a delicious, simple salad that can translate into many different recipes and will become a staple in your house. post over the weekend that was like a picture of the traditional restaurant salad and then I made put a picture of like one of my salads I had so much feedback off of that post that I was like I need to make a video about salad I'm going to be showing you today how to make a delicious salad and the first thing we're going to do for this salad is um, we're just gonna roast up some vegetables I like making salads like this because this really will show you what you can use based on just stuff that you already have in your fridge we are going to roast a bunch of veggies um, today I have mushrooms and onions broccoli I'm throwing in some of these little um, sweet bell peppers and some cauliflower when you are roasting vegetables like this the trick to roasting vegetables deliciously is high temp. So I have my oven preheat right now at 425 and I actually also have in some russet potatoes because that's going to be part of the next part of the recipe. I'm going to toss with a little bit of olive oil. What I have these vegetables actually sitting on is one of those um, silicone mats. If you haven't heard me talk about a silicone mat then you're just not listening because these things are awesome. It's really cool because I'm trying to like be a little bit more zero waste and I used to like always roast on aluminum foil and then you have to just throw that away after and the only reason why I did that was because it was a pain cleaning my pans well this silicone mat is easy to clean easy to reuse nothing ever sticks to it you could throw it on the grill you can do whatever you want with it so anyway I'm just gonna toss these vegetables and a little bit of olive oil and then I'm gonna season it up with whatever seasoning I want to use and today I'm just using um, season salt I really recommend as part of this being a simple recipe just to get a blend of spices it's gonna take about 20 minutes to go with this salad we're gonna make a quick dressing this is gonna be an oil free dressing because I don't know I mean I'm trying to not use a lot of oil plus I'm obsessed with tahini right now so I'm just gonna use some tahini paste and this one's a little bit runnier. Some tahini pastes I have noticed are very um, thick and dry. So this one's a lot more runny and this one is actually, um, the outer shell is taken off so it's called hold, hold, to, hold, it's tahini paste. Hold tahini paste. I feel like it's not as bitter and there's no salt or sugar or anything added so it's just that. So anyway. Tahini paste does this really weird freaky science thing when you add water like it'll be thin like this And then you add water to it, and it's gonna like thicken up again, and then it's gonna thin out So it's it's really strange. I don't it's like a magic trick But anyway, I do not have any exact portions to give you for this because I you know don't have them so I'm just gonna do this with you guys, and I'm actually using a old Back to the zero waste thing I'm actually using a old jelly jar I've been trying to recycle any kind of glass or anything like that that I have and um, that looks about right so that looks like about three tablespoons of tahini and the inspiration for this dressing is going to be ranch so something that I did last time and was really good is I actually just took pickle juice because Pickles are make cucumbers with vinegar, right? And garlic and dill and all the other stuff that we're adding. So I'm going to just add a little bit of the pickle juice instead of adding straight vinegar. If you don't wanna use pickle juice or if you don't have pickle juice, just use um, a little bit of vinegar for this part. I probably should have used a bowl. Well, let me get a bowl, hold on. All right, let's try this again because I can't really whisk this in this jar so if you hear random screaming in the background I'm sorry I'm trying to lay my kids down for a nap but you know they don't think they need one kids are so smart it's crazy I'm gonna add a splash of water um, you want this to be the consistency of you know dressing ranch dressing and I've actually put a little bit too much of that so I'm gonna add another spoonful of tahini so now I have the consistency that I want and like I said, it's gonna be kind of like, just like a dressing. This one is a little bit thinner than normal, but it still is gonna be great. 
and it actually will thicken a little bit too as it sits so I might end up having to add a little bit of water um, so anyway I'm going to go in with my spices I got some black pepper some onion powder I have and like I said I'm not measuring this so I don't really know what to tell you it's kind of just like a taste thing parsley flakes parsley is not going to add a ton of flavor it's more like aesthetics here um, some dill and I know I said chive in here but I'm actually out of chive heavy on the dill by the way and I'm gonna add some garlic powder heavy on the garlic and I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne. This is optional. If you like just that little bit of heat in the back, it's gonna make you go, hmm. All right, and it's too thick again, so I'm gonna have to thin it again. This is how I cook. I I never really have like a recipe. And it's really hard, to be honest, when people will be like, can I get the recipe for that? Because I don't have one. One day when I'm like more professional and I I'm not taking care of kids 24 7 I will do recipe testing and I'll measure everything and do all that but right now I'm just trying to show you how I cook and it's very freelance so hopefully you can learn to cook like this too because when you can cook like this you can honestly make anything so use this fork. all right so I have not added salt yet because I wanted to taste it first because of the pickle since I used the pickle brine I wanted to make sure I did, it didn't need salt or it wasn't too salty so I have it did need salt and I actually feel like I do want to still add a splash of vinegar today yeah I'm gonna add a splash of white vinegar one day this sauce will be ready I know it seems like a lot but this whole process is like taking me maybe five minutes all right, that should be good now. Let's try. That's delicious. I love this dressing. This is so good. Mm -hmm. mm. What's really cool about this dressing is that it's with it being dairy free, you don't have to worry about cholesterol. You're getting so many other um, nutrients besides just like protein that's in dairy you're getting so many other nutrients as well and it's so delicious I don't really feel like by eating this I'm missing out on something else now it's not ranch I get that like it doesn't have the same flavor or the exact same consistency as ranch but I would choose this like I might be in the mood sometimes for ranch but I'm this is so good. This is something that you'll be in the mood for on its own. This will be for our make croutons as well for our salad I think the most important part to croutons is the type of bread that you have so this is a nice Italian loaf um, it's an artesian style bread so it's got by that I mean it's fancy um, it's got like the outer crust that's crunchy like it's crunched like this is not a bread that you want to have like I don't know whatever kind of sandwich that you like it's really soft bread this is not that bread um, and it's really like does not have a ton of ingredients um, wheat flour, malted barley, water, yeast, salt, cornstarch, absorbic acid, and some enzymes. So that's it, like basic bread here, okay? So all I do, and I, when I buy this bread, I put the whole loaf in the freezer. I don't even, I don't even take a second to leave it out on the counter. Anyway, I'm just gonna take these and just hand break them up into I just have a cast iron pan. You can see I made croutons in this already and I haven't cleaned it out because you know you don't clean cast iron. Um, I'm just gonna break this into big chunks. I actually am making um, vegan mac and cheese for an event tonight and I'm use, using this as my breadcrumb recipe and 
I was sitting here getting ready to start prepping for that, had just finished recording my last little section on here, and then I was like, oh, we can actually show how to make these, and it can be on the salad. So it's in pretty large chunks. I don't really make sure that it, they're super even, and I think it looks a lot more rustic when they're in big chunks like this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of olive oil on it, and then season it up. Um, I think I put my season salt away, so I guess we're not using that. We'll use salt, because it's right here. And pepper, because it's gotta go with salt. Now let's make a little salt and pepper baby in here. And garlic, because salt, pepper, garlic, you know. Um, we'll do the onion powder again. And parsley for color. I'm not gonna put dill. I don't know that I would want dill croutons. Actually, that'd probably be fine. But we're not gonna do dill because it's going on mac and cheese too. And I'm not gonna do that either. Yeah, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna toss this a little bit. And my oven is going right now because remember we have the roasting, the veggies roasting up. And we also have the um, potatoes for the next recipe that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Those are in the oven as well, but because I'm roasting, um, I'm actually roasting bed, roasting stuff right now, that's at a really high temp, and I don't wanna put this bread in there right now because the bread at 425, honestly, is probably just going to burn. My garlic that I put on here is going to burn. Um, it's not gonna be a great thing. So what I do with these is I put the oven pretty low. I'll put it at like 275 to 300 because I'm gonna be busy running around and I don't want them to burn. And you're really just trying to get the moisture out of them so you can do it at a low temp. All right, so we have some veggies roasting in the oven. We have some baked potatoes baking away in the oven. And, at, and we've already made our ranch tahini dressing. So now I'm gonna start working on meal number two, which is not the salad, but we are going to be making a loaded baked potato. This is a staple, a simple, vegan, plant-based, dinner so anyway the, like I said the potatoes are roasting the next thing I'm going to do is season up some black beans so I actually just have some canned black beans and I am going to just kind of flavor these up a little bit and these will go on top and serve as our like protein source for these um, baked potatoes so I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil and I'm just gonna saute up an onion onions are a great staple to any kind of recipe I'm going to saute up one onion. Now that our onions are nice and tender and you can tell they definitely like sweat it out, I'm going to actually go ahead and add in all the rest of our ingredients. So we have black beans, some fresh cilantro, and fresh cilantro is so good cooked down in beans. It adds such a really good flavor. I'm going to add in, for seasoning, I'm going to add in some cumin, some oregano, and some garlic powder. And if I wasn't lazy, I probably would have added in some fresh garlic, but I'm lazy. And salt. They literally smell so good already. That combination of the cilantro, the onion, the garlic, it smells so good. The end result, you don't want them to be dry because they're going on, um, on our baked potato and you think a baked potato, is it's so starchy and it's actually pretty dry. So this is gonna add a little bit more moisture and tons more flavor to our baked potato. down and have a little chat with you guys up and give you some of my best tips to creating a salad that doesn't suck my first tip is creating a salad that has all the different flavor profiles salty sweet sour 
umami and fat. That's fat's kind of a taste. It's more about how it holds the taste on your tongue. But anyway, let's start with salty first. Salt enhances the flavor that's already there. So salt is obviously one that you're gonna want to have. And in our salad, we had the dressing had salt in it and what else the croutons had a little bit of salt in it you kind of season everything individually as you go so salt is definitely one that's important um for sweet in this salad we added cherry tomatoes if you eat a cherry tomato by itself it definitely has some underlying sweet flavors as well as some really nice acidity so the tomatoes brought some layer of sweetness to our salad but the sour aspect we have the salad dressing actually has the vinegar or the pickle brine in it, um, but we also added some more pickles, the pepperoncinis as well, or pepperoncinis, however you pronounce them, but those add a certain level of sour as well. And umami, umami is a flavor that is that like deep, rich flavor that you find in like soy sauce, meat, um, and for this recipe, it was the roasted mushrooms that added that like deep, rich flavor to the whole recipe. And for fat, fat is really important. Fat actually is nutritionally really important, especially having the right types of fat. Um, fat actually will help your body to absorb what the nutrients that are within your vegetables. It's really important to skip those low fat salad dressings because your body actually has a harder time absorbing all the nutrients out of the food that you're actually eating if it doesn't have that fat present. Those are the flavor profiles that I like I'll think about like when I go to make a salad and or when I go to make anything for that matter and that's something that I've learned when I started eating more in like different Asian foods like Thai and Vietnamese they have such a good balance of all of those flavors within each one of those flavors you have to find the things that you like so if you don't like cherry tomatoes maybe add in some like raisins or some cranberries or apples or any kind of berries to your salad whatever it's just a, it's just about having some sort of balance so anyway salty sweet sour umami and some sort of fat my second tip is having different textures so if something is all the same texture it's not very exciting so there's different textures that i like to make sure i'm including in the meat in, a, in my salad um and the first one is creamy so in this one we had our salad dressing that was like really creamy potatoes have that like creaminess avocados having something creamy like that what it does is it kind of like coats your tongue and it's just all the different textures are just let me put my hands down all the different textures make for a much more enjoyable experience versus having one set mono mono textorial salad nobody likes a mono textorial salad we like them textures all right moving on we have creamy um chewy so in this one i added some pasta you could have i just added regular pasta but you could add preferably a whole wheat pasta or um, a like lentil or mung bean pasta something like that i like tofu in my salads actually like the pre um they call it tan tofu it's tofu that's already been pressed and seared and that has like a really chewy texture too the next thing is crunchy so this one's really easy with the salad because most of the time salads do have a lot of raw vegetables in there as well so you could add like snow peas or regular peas or carrots or broccoli or anything that's like a raw vegetable for one you're getting all the enzymes from that vegetable that are helping your body to absorb all the other nutrients better but for two you're getting a crunch all raw vegetables have somewhat of a crunch so this is a great place to just throw in even if you're chopping them up pretty fine um this is a great way to just get in extra greens or extra nutrients through those crunchy vegetables and then the last one is like a crispy flavor or i mean a crispy texture crispy textures could be stuff like for this recipe we used croutons it could be any kind of nuts or seeds which again are great to add to salads because they add that good fat that's going to help your body absorb the nutrients that are already in all those vegetables and fruit potentially because you know sweet add the sweet it could be chips it could be i mean really anything it's just think up by crispy it's something crunchy that's dry chris and my third and final tip to creating a delicious salad is don't try to recreate 
somebody else's salad. If you get in this way of thinking where you have to make a salad a certain way, you're gonna think a salad is lettuce, tomato, cucumber, ranch. You're not eating ranch because you're plant-based. So don't get stuck on like a house salad, a Caesar salad, a Cobb salad, uh, what other kind of salad? A Niswah salad. You know what a Niswah salad is? Okay, in case you didn't know what a Niswah salad is, it's a specific combination. I think it's like butter lettuce on the bottom. It's got um, steamed green beans. It's got tomatoes. It's got boiled potatoes, boiled eggs, um, salmon, and I think it has anchovies too. But anyway, this combination was, it's debatable about where it came from, but it's like labeled now, like it's a Niswa salad. No, it is a salad that was created because somebody had all that stuff left in their fridge and then they put it all on a platter and they called it a Niswa salad. That's what happens. And you will make your own salad like that if you just stop thinking about how somebody else made their salad and just start making your own salad. Be creative. Okay, so I know I said I had three tips. My fourth one, it kind of plays into everything, but my fourth and, and final tip would be to think about the things that you like. So when you go to make a salad, open your fridge, pull out a bunch of stuff, and then just start putting it together. And don't re, this goes back to the recreating. Don't put stuff together just because somebody else did. Put stuff that you like. And it really will be, I mean, you can't not like it if you like it, right? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty simple but genius, if that makes any sense. So. Think of all the things you like. I personally love all things that are vinegary and salty and stuff like that. So my salads pretty much always have either pepperoncinis or jalapeno, pickled, of course, all this is pickled. Pickles or pickled jalapenos, pickled pepperoncinis, olives, I love olives, I love capers. Like those are always things that are gonna be in my salad. And then I really am more of a creamy based dressing not so much the not really big on the vinaigrettes so my salad dressings are always going to be like a tahini based salad dressing or even like a peanut butter salad dressing or um a cashew ranch or something like that like that's going to be that's what i like so that's how i'm going to make my salads and that's how i'm going to get the most out of it all right so now that you're ready to go make a salad let me show you how to make a baked potato I roasted this potato at 425 for about 45 minutes. I did overcook it a little bit, but it didn't affect the inside, so we were good. Then we just filled it up with these beans that we had made. This added a great source of protein to this meal, and I also drizzled on some vegan mac and cheese sauce. I have the recipe for this linked in the description below, and I'll also post it in the iCard. We keep this all the time in our fridge. It's so versatile, it goes on just about anything. Then because I had already roasted these veggies for our salad recipe, I just actually threw some of those on as well. You can add really anything to a loaded baked potato. So then to finish it off, I added some cool spicy salsa and this turned out to be a delicious dinner and a really versatile lunch. so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching these two delicious recipes we have the loaded baked potato and then a salad that is actually delicious so if you have any questions about the recipe make sure you comment below and thumbs up for our channel thumbs, thumbs up, up for, for our, our channel, channel. <laughs> I will be putting out a new video every Wednesday and if there's something like I said if there's something you'd like to see please let me know and yeah, go out and make a salad. Make a salad that you like, not a salad that somebody else has made and has told you that you should like. So, you guys ready to eat something? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Say bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye, bye guys. See you bye. next Wednesday.